All right. Ladies and gents, it is the Macho Man Robot Savage, the people's champion, and I'm here to explain to you which are the best repeaters after the refresh. Now, first and foremost, I have to tell you, last night we did a lot of testing on this till I collapsed. And then, I know you were expecting a Tempest build first, but no, shit stains, no. I'm going to show you. How to maximize damage with your new repeaters. And of course, there will be more builds coming out. Don't worry, I will make a Tempest build because I know you all want one. But, first and foremost, it's always been my duty to bring out the first and most important build. And that is your top DPS and survival build. Let's get into it right now. Oh yeah! Okay, so um, now we're at Macho Nerd mode. And I'm gonna explain the uh, top DPS and survival repeater build. Now, you're not seeing Tempest in there because number one, discipline still gives a lot of power to the repeaters. On top of that, it gives you a very key interrupt. Now, yesterday I tried interrupt based repeaters with weighted strikes, um, things like that. I did everything under the sun, but because the missile attacks only interrupt with the stupid salvo chamber, okay, and only when it's empowered, um, it doesn't give your repeaters the interrupt they need. You see, now would have been the time for repeaters to have that amazing interrupt, but it doesn't. So instead, what you have is a top DPS build that's focused around discipline, the carnivore repeaters, and a Resikiri bond. I'm actually going to go through that right now. So. Your build will start out with Temporal Mechanics. Berserker Cell, Etheric Attunement Cell, okay? Chamber will be the full bore chamber, all right? Captain's Grip, obviously for the attack speed. Precision Sights will be your mod of choice, as you know. I'm still gonna go and test which mod has the best damage. We're still gonna go and do that, but for now we'll still carry on with Precision Sights and it hasn't let me down before. Um, Bond will be uh, Dawn Stars, okay? So we're gonna check that out first. Next, you have Discipline as your Omnicell. Now the Punch has been nerfed, yes, this is true, but it still deals a lot of damage. And um, although the Critical Strike Damage modifier has been nerfed, the Interrupt is what you're going for. You're not too worried about this. The baseline 10% Critical Strike chance and damage is still there, which is very important. That's, in fact, using it for the passive was, was also very important. The active was just the Interrupt, so I'm not too worried on that. Um, Koshai's Bloom will be your Lantern with Etheric Attunement Cell. Oh, and I'm sorry, Berserker and Etheric Attunement in case I didn't mention it. Those are your cells in your repeaters. Now we have Prismatic Slots, which is freaking awesome. Uh, Nasher Cap with a Toughness Cell will be your Hat. Uh, Thrax's Shadow with a Berserker Cell will be your Body. Malkyrion's Grasp Predator Cell will be your Gloves. And last but not least, you've got Nasher Treads with a Tenacious Cell as your Legs. Okay, um, overall, overall... Now, if you want better, uh, better so-called offsets, okay, if you want better offsets, um, because this one, like, elementally speaking, this one has some vulnerabilities, you can replace this with the previous Sight of Stone, putting in two toughness cells, right? Then, down here, you can just slap on, um, Volcanic Treads or Boreal March. I mean, you can structure it whichever way you want. Um, usually I just slap on the volcanic treads and then, you know, I'd go from there. But, um, this would give you some slightly better elemental offsets if you wanted to offset the Malkyrian's Grass. But I think overall, no matter what, you can't remove the Radiant Weakness here. So, some people complain about that, although I don't know why that was an issue, but, uh, I would say don't worry about it. If you do my original version, okay, um, you, you'll be just fine. I mean, yes, you would still have the weakness to shock, uh, sorry, you have the weakness to Terra from Malkyrions, but if you're looking to take on the Cabarac, please note, I will make a specific build for that, okay? Okay, so I hope that that clarified everything. Um, now to go through the perks, Etheric Attunement, all right. Lantern Recharge is now 50%, very fast. Okay, this helps your Koshai Bloom out. You can use it for damage now as well. Plus six Berserker gives you a lovely 3.5% damage, all right? Um, and stacks 10 times, so a total of 35. Cunning, 10% critical strike chance, 30% critical strike damage, standard for all my discipline builds. Predator, you shouldn't be taking a hit anyway most of the time, so 35% damage bonus, very lovely. 
tenacious with this build you've got 13 uh, 13,000 hit points which means your total damage bonus goes to 26 percent and six toughness offsets discipline and adds to your tenacious damage okay now if you find that you have survival issues and you really really can't handle this too much swap this one etheric attunement cell or this one berserker cell up to you or you can swap both for parasitic cells and you'll be good to go okay it depends on how much survival you need but realistically speaking this is more than enough if you want a top dps and you want a top survival at the same time this is the build for you okay i'm gonna actually showcase that in combat so um because i also have a quest for it and i've got nothing better to do we will go straight into a 1 to 13 escalation doesn't matter even which escalation it is all right these are level one repeaters they are freshly um we'll just go patrol private hunt there we go they are freshly uh, reforged, so they're level 1, but at level 1, you will have literally no problem tearing through everything, and we'll show you that, okay? It's a very simple, easy process. One, two, three, okay? All right. Here we go. And of course, as always, to show you that nothing has been altered, I'll just wait for the loading to go in. Now, I know many of you are like, Come on, you were supposed to build us a Tempest build for everything. Yes, I'm working on it, but Tempest is not that great. <laughs> Some of you may have heard it on my stream yesterday, but I, I did talk about it. And, uh, Tempest is not honestly that great. It's a 10% passive increase, but the active is so lackluster that, yeah, you're not breaking any special parts with that. Okay, I mean, you could make a meme build, but in terms of general effectiveness, it's pretty trash. <laughs> So Tempest builds will be coming, but they will not center so much around um, the active ability, but rather capitalizing on the 10% attack speed to create... Um, let's say it would create a, a raw damage build, much like Iceborne, but focus on DPS instead of survival. All right, so we've got a Frost Escalation first. Okay. Crit modifier. All right. There are ways to keep your Sky Slayer blood from freezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make your blood freeze, bitch. All right. So with the new reticle for repeaters, as you can see, things are very, very wonderful and beautiful. Get your DPS up. And there you go. Okay, first creature down. Da 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 da, subtlety. Okay, Boreas and Scarn. Lovely. Now, oh no, you took some damage. It really doesn't matter. Get your attack speed up. Fire through. With the Rezakiri, you are in a very good situation because, again, you just have so much additional damage chopped in that um, life is pretty good, to be fair. Keep in mind that you were level 1 initially, now you're level 2 with the repeaters, okay? No consumables, no tonics have been used, nothing has been touched. This is purely the build, okay? Um, again, one thing which I guess a lot of people have to be aware of is just that uh, the builds themselves are always optimized for maximum strength, power, or whatever. And many people, um, they try to show off that a build is stronger by using it in an escalation where obviously you have a lot more power, but again, they seem to take a while to actually kill anything. So don't be fooled by that because if you're using an optimized build in an escalation, um, you should be killing things in as few seconds as you've been seeing. So it really becomes a speedy process. You should not take long. Okay, it's a very short process if you really want to level fast. Now 
now that my Koshai's can be utilized as a dash as well. Okay, so you're seeing that we're not spending a lot of time sitting around, waiting around, things like that. It, it really doesn't cost you a lot of time to do this. It's been roughly four minutes. We're gonna finish this out in as many seconds. Again, amps play a huge part, so don't forget that, but you, you, being able to do this when you're just level one means that obviously you're gonna be speeding through things, and I think you can respect that, right? I mean, maybe some people can, but well, I'll let you decide for yourself. This is the most optimized build for repeaters because it gives you that interrupt, which we haven't even had to use, and it gives you the most damage that you can pull out uh, reliably. With Tempest, you will be playing a very different game, but not to say that's not reliable. It is, just that it's a very different game. Still badass as fuck. Oops, tried to counter that long jump, but I guess it didn't go in my favor very well. Okay, dead. And your repeaters were level 2 and 1 throughout the entire thing. It only literally just hit level 3. So there you go. Ladies and gents, that is the end of that, so I hope you enjoyed the little combat showcase of the uh, Discipline Repeaters build. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, you can drop a tip via the link in the description of the video if you want to support your favorite Asian robot, all right? That'll keep my content running, because remember, you guys pay me, no one else does. So, okay. You can also send a super thanks on YouTube or purchase Asian robot merchandise via the shop link in the description of the video. Thank you very much if you decided to do that. Now let's move over to the thank you scene. Oh yeah! Thank you to all of August's top tippers. Thank you to Bravo7910, Gussie Marie, Krampus Reborn, Reese Mark 4, Lewis Grave, FNX Killer43, Limitsuki PC, and Zavi Uzumaki. If you like the macho man, don't forget to drop some love and keep his content running. Oh yeah, you will be the queen.